designer and stylist trying to spread the joy of making stuff. And in this episode of Tool School, I'm going to be teaching you how to make this fluffy ruff. If you are interested in these puff sleeves, you can catch that in the last video. I've spoken in past videos about how tool is a very cheap material, and for this project you're only going to need two yards, which you can get for as low as a dollar per yard, plus some ribbon, which you can also get for as low as a dollar a yard or cheaper. So all in, this is like a five dollar project. Pretty, pretty cheap, pretty easy, pretty fun. All you're gonna need for this project is two yards of tool, some ribbon, a matching thread color, some fishing line, and your sewing machine. And that's it. So let's grab your materials and get started. Let's start out with our two yards of fabric. When you unroll your bolt, or if you get it cut off of a bolt, it's already gonna be folded once, which will create two layers. Then you're gonna fold it a second time, creating four layers, and fold it one more time, and that'll give you eight layers. Once you've got your eight layers, on the most recently folded side, go ahead and pin it all the way down, and then on the other side, cut across those folds to create an even edge. Then take it over to your sewing machine and do a big zigzag stitch over the, your length of fishing line. This is an alternative to the parallel stitching method in which you use a long running stitch to do par two parallel seams or one long seam, and then you gather that piece of thread and fishing line is much slippery -er <laughs> than regular thread, so you're going to be able to just pull that line and gather it up really easily like this. The other thing is, when you're working with regular thread, it can snap or snag a lot more easily, and then you're going to have to start all over again. Whereas with this fishing line, you can even run out of bobbin, and you're going to be fine. So once you've got that all gathered up, take a piece of ribbon on which you've marked the length of your neck, and then pin it on one side, and I like to anchor my fishing line down by almost tying it onto that pin like I'm tying a boat to a dock. So I do a figure eight and then wrap it around a couple of times, and that'll keep my fishing line from moving or stretching while I'm pinning. So I do that on the other side and then pin all the way down. Now you've got that all pinned, take it back over to your sewing machine and stitch across that ribbon securing your ribbon to your now gathered piece of tulle. Now you can start to peel those pieces apart, which is really fun. And as you reveal each layer, it gets fluffier and fluffier. And once you're done peeling all of those layers apart, which is in my opinion, the most fun part, all you have left to do is tie it to your neck. Now your big, fluffy, lush, Clown Ruff is done, and you look amazing. Thank you so much for watching this video today. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please hit like and subscribe. I am a brand new and growing YouTube channel, so every bit helps. Tell your friends. And if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more tutorials in 60 seconds or less, head on over to my TikTok at Athena Lawton. I'm also on Instagram where I post mostly selfies, same handle at Athena Lawton. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you next time.